Hi fellow anglers! Today, do it yourself. I hope this tutorial can be helpful to all of you who has been scratching your head about how to change the reel knob when it comes without crew and you have to drill the rivet to take off the old knob and put your beautiful one. Especially with some of the more affordable Daiwa Small Series, reels 3000 and smaller sizes. These Shimano and Daiwa reels that don't come with a simple screw to release the knob. I'm going to share a DIY method that involves drilling out a brass rivet, which is often the only way to get that knob off. I'm here to guide you through the process step by step. Before drilling, we must remove the whole handle to drill comfortable and don't damage the reel with scratches. You may use a permanent marker and carefully draw a point just in the center of the rivet. Then uphold the handle on a soft wood to allow mark the center of the rivet with a center punch tool and hammer to create Ian initial dent just where we need to drill. Then you can use a hand drill holding the handle carefully between two woods in a bench vise or use a drill press as me going increasing the size until 5 mm size. Removing the knob. Once the rivet is drilled through, you should be able to pull off the knob. Be gentle, and it should come off without much trouble. Installing in the right order. Now, here's where many anglers get confused. Pay attention to the order of the bearings and small washers. This can vary depending on your reel, so always consult the manufacturer's guide. First, you secure the axle to the handle with the screw and one washer. On the knob side, you may first insert a washer, after the spacer washer, another thin washer, one ball bearing, and then the knob. Then insert the other ball bearing in the outer side of the knob hole, moving with a small screwdriver until the bearing fits inside the axis. Now you just insert the last screw and it's done. You only need to close the knob hole with the lid. And install the handle again in your reel and word done. Check there are not looseness in the handle or knob and also turn gently the knob around to be sure that the bearings are working properly. It's good to add grease while mounting the bearings and washers in the axle. So, there you have it, a brand new, beautiful and comfortable reel knob.